Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. I'm Inga. This reading will be for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. This is a special reading for the eclipse season that's coming up in July and on the edge of the Leo, of the Leo season. So we have, in fact, a partial solar eclipse at 13th, uh, on the 13th, Friday the 13th, excuse me, in 20 degrees cancer and we have on the 27th of july we have a full moon lunar eclipse at four degrees aquarius what's going on leo let's see what this means for you this is your first time on the channel thank you for finding the channel and watching and if you're returning thank you so much for your support and as always if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you want to share it or subscribe, that's even better, and I do appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I always read the comments, and I always try to respond, and I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Leo, what's going on with you guys? Where are we? We have Major Arcana of the World. We have, we have the Queen of Wands. Very fitting for our fiery friends. Look at that. I don't read reversals. I don't need to. We have major arcana, strength. Leos are on the comeback. Leos are on the comeback. And it feels to me like it's something that they fought for and something that they earned. They are on the comeback. If they have people who are approaching them for relationships, they're not particularly interested in this right now. I feel like the Leo focus is somewhere else. Uh, they may want to enjoy their freedom. They may want to enjoy their independence. They may be feeling good with just being alone and being by themselves. And then just at this time, they have a lot of interesting uh, people approaching them. And maybe they may be having fun with this, but they're not so intent on going after or being in a relationship right now, but the energy is good for this, by the way. But they're on the comeback. They're feeling good. They're feeling recovered. They're feeling um, not so disappointed. Uh, they may be seeing the truth about matters. They may be seeing the truth about people. So they're in this element of hindsight is 2020. They're, they're in the hindsight. They see things now that they didn't see before. And they're realizing uh, something that they thought was especially around love, uh, Maybe they realized someone that they were involved with who they really had a fascination for or an infatuation for turns out to be a total dud. And where they were in this period of loss and anguish because of a lost love, partnership, relationship, or potential, now they see it was um, not good for them. Not good for them. We have major arcana judgment, and we have the... <laughs> Very nice. We have the Nine of Cups. This looks like July will be a wonderful time for Leo. Now, I'm getting this. I didn't get this on the other readings. You may have listened to other astrologers who are really following uh, the prescription, and I don't know why I'm getting that, for these eclipses. So they're really looking at the 40 degrees of Cancer and the 4 degrees of Aquarius. Um but I always think you can supersede this energy. There is a type of survival mode uh, in this period. Um, but I think some signs will su surpass this. I don't care what the predictions say. And it feels to me like this eclipse will be a very interesting time for Leo. A great time. Looks to be quite wonderful. Look at <laughs> I even see the lion here, guys. I don't know why I didn't guess that before. Leo the lion, going to be feeling great over this eclipse season. Opportunities coming forward for you also for business and for money. Um, but you might have to change to a different location and you might have to, uh, you might have to change to a different job, do something different than what you've been doing. But it will, it will turn good for you. You will be able to make more money coming up from now, moving forward into the summer, uh, fall months, the opportunities to make more money. 
also we have look at that we have the we have the knight of cups there we have very nice the high priestess look how lo lovely the energy is for leo on top of the queen of wands uh, we have the six of sor swords six of swords on top of that major arcana strength So the Leo will have to modulate. It will have to be a lot of things to a lot of people to be ultra successful in this eclipse season. May have to change it up and quickly adapt. Uh, be adaptable. Be very adaptable for a greater level of uh, success. Don't turn down offers. Even if you have people coming forward who don't seem interesting to you right now. It's all a matter of timing. Later in the year, or later in subsequent months, someone who you turn down now may seem quite interesting to you later. So if you're turning down people, turn them down very soft because you might need them for something later, I get to. We have Major Arcana, the sun. Look at that. Leo ruled by the sun. We have great energy here for Leo. This is with Major Arcana Judgment. And it, it is just the start of your new solar year, by the way, so it's very fitting. Uh, and finally, we have the Eight of Swords matched up with the Nine of Cups. This might be for a group of Leos who are still feeling quite affected by their past. And having a hard time letting go of even past slights or past disappointments, past letdowns. Still harboring even some ill will. Uh, when it's probably time just to let it go. And, but it's almost like they have this luxury that they can, that they're still nursing this. But there's no reason for it. You can do it and it even seems that it doesn't impact you. Really, it's like a a little bit of a victim mentality that the, some of the Leos might be enjoying, but it's not necessary. And I think you already know that, Leo. You know, it's just time to let things go with this uh, judgment here. Yeah, and let's see where else we are. I had a few other things to add, but I'm just going to leave it. Because, you know, and just not to judge anyone, people do to you what you let them do to you. So, you know, it's always better to take the responsibility. And I see that here with this um, Knight of Cups as well as with the strength. You take the responsibility uh, on yourself and you can do more. You'll be able to do more than if you put the blame outside of yourself. No judgment, guys. And what do we have? We have the Four of Swords. I'm going to show you that card as I read it to you in just a second, guys. Um, I'm getting to, because with this reading, I suddenly got very almost nauseated and tired. And uh, I almost felt like I would faint during this reading. And that's never happened before. And with this Four of Swords, I'm also getting, you guys need to get some rest. Something's up with that. Uh, that you need to, you have you need to get some rest or I don't know. Um, with this four of swords, we have four of air, healing, meditation, rest, recuperation. It's time to rest my mind and allow peace to take the place of busyness or boredom. The mind needs to quiet to think and find clarity. If I allow my mind to rest, I will have greater clarity and my mind will be sharper. This is the time for a break. I need to take care of myself. And I think that's very fitting to the reading. Also something about clarity and letting things go is very important for you in this eclipse season. It's a time of cleansing and letting things go. Leo, thank you for joining me and I will see you back here again next month. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.